Hi, I'm Katherine Kinley and this is VH1's Entertainment Watch. There's a new trend coming out of the trenches of a handful of New York nightclubs and it's called voguing. Part dance and part posing, voguing is about becoming as much like a runway fashion model as possible. Here reporting on the emerging craze is VH1's Walter Thomas. <laughs> This is Vogue magazine, and these are Voguers. You know, this is the kind of hard-hitting news story that Geraldo would kill for. Somehow this magazine has inspired a phenomenon, and for the people that Vogue, all I can tell you is that it's such a cosmic thing that I can't understand it, much less explain it. But one thing is obvious, it takes tons of attitude. The kind of attitude you can't cut with a chainsaw. Check it out. Voguing's a family affair. Members belong to groups called houses and compete for coveted trophies at balls. What I'm wearing is an astonishing, utterly amazing ensemble, totally created by myself. That I plan to punish this ballroom in tonight. Vogue is mainly um, a performance of art, you know, dancing. Although voguing may seem like an overnight sensation, it actually started a long time ago. It started 25 years ago, almost 30 years ago, really. It started in Harlem and it took itself to the Bronx. It started out as fashion shows and um, people were coming and wearing their best outfits. And then it, over the years, it grew into like a club sort of thing. A lot of the children uh, have been uh, inspired by the movie but have lately been inspired by the fashion industry and the glamour of the models. Consequently, uh, their aspirations to be fashion models is what causes them to do the things that we do at these halls. Everyone in life has attitudes and opinions, and these kids are just taking that, taking one step further. And it's just their way of expressing themselves. It's couture because it's different. It's one of a kind. I did it because it expresses that I'm different. We just act like a family, and it's a lot of love. And the Omni share a lot of pride because of the fact that we feel honored in what we do. This is realness. I know because I've judged only 14 balls in my time. That's realness. Realness is like when you're a man, you're real. That's what they want. If you're a woman, bring it real, the real way. Voguing is already spilling out from downtown New York and onto European shores. Just last month, Paris-based fashion designer Terry Mugler used Voguers in his fall fashion show. I was just jockeying the show there, and Terry brought over two Voguers from New York, Willie and Adrian, and he created the ultimate high fashion realness for them. He uh, brought out Willie first, then he brought out Adrian, and then he brought out their ultimate idol, runway models, Iman. And he had them all vogue together. It was fantastic. You can vogue until you drop. Doesn't matter the age or the size, just vogue. This May 10th, New York's fashion and art community, including Donna Karen and Perry Ellis, will hold their own voguing ball and pay $2,500 apiece for the chance to sponsor their favorite voguers. All proceeds will go to DIFA, a fashion industry AIDS care organization. Meanwhile, voguing will go from the runways to the airwaves this June, when music impresario Malcolm McLaren releases his new single titled Deep in Vogue. For VH1, I'm Katherine Kinley.
on me. Charming on me. The baby face. Get ready for a beach of future. This is crap.
for the front door. Ariel, you are wanted at the front door. Ariel.
Come back out, the legendary house of St. Lamar. 